Hello everyone, this is a, a short video on um, how to drive a slave clock with a Raspberry Pi. I've used a Raspberry Pi 3 and uh, the slave clock is basically a 24 volt DC solenoid which needs to be activated every minute so the clock can move um, and stay on time so the goal is to drive this slave clock with a Raspberry Pi so here is the Raspberry Pi with the hardware to drive it and there is the interface I will put online the code I will put online the schematics for um, this uh, this little project so basically here is your clock behind you've got a 24 volt dc solenoid the way it's driven is you've got basically two outputs one input the input is this push button just there the wall ID when you push on this button it stops the the program so that's the only input you want to stop the infinite loop which delivers a pulse every minute you push on this button it stops two outputs uh, you probably can see it one is this LED which flashes when the Pulse it sends to this uh, part of the electric diagrams, which basically drives this relay once every minute. And there is our 24 volt DC power supply. Oh my gosh, I'm losing the clock. Just bear with me a second. That's better. So, yeah, the relay is there. That's our 24 volt DC power supply. Diagrams really are very simple. You've got, that's the first output. It's the red LED. This one. And uh, this is the input with that being the push button and the pull up resistors which is basically this one so I'll put this diagram online this one is a bit more complex but uh, that is the yellow LED just there transistors here is this one the relay I showed it earlier with the solenoid of the clock. This little resistance is not always required. In my case it was because I had some small instability. So by adding this resistor the, the project worked better but you might not need it. Okay that's about it. So these two diagrams will be online. I'm gonna put the code online as well. Basically the code is made of two parts. Um, you've got one part which delivers uh, a, fast, a fast pulse every half a second which allows you to set the clock on time. And uh, the other part of the program is an infinite loops which um, generates a pulse every minute which closes the relay over there and that makes the clock move forward one step every minute oh, there is also a DS3231 uh, auxiliary clock uh, that's useful if you want your Raspberry Pi to um, stay on time even when um, the power is switched off that's it. I think I've covered everything. Hope uh, you will find that useful. I guess it's more the, 
diagrams and the code you will need. Everything will be added online um, with the YouTube video. Thank you very much. Bye.